Hello, everybody. I'd like to tell you about Julius. Julius was born in the mountains above Denver, and Julius became an orphan. Due to a logging accident, Julius became an orphan and was found by one of the loggers who happened to be a friend of a friend of mine that was sharing an apartment with me in Denver at the time. Now, this was in 1960, and it was during the time that uh, Denver was just loaded with coffee houses. So we took uh, Julius home with us, and we discovered that Julius loved chocolate chip cookies. And if he knew that you had chocolate chip cookies in the, in the apartment, he would literally tear the place apart looking for those chocolate chip cookies. And if you put one in your pocket, he would go absolutely nuts trying to get you to a position to where he could jump on your shoulder and take that chocolate chip cookie out of your pocket. Well, Julius became one of the most famous patrons of all the coffee houses in Denver. When Julius came into the coffee house, everybody had to talk to Julius. And of course, as a result, all of Julius's friends became our friends. And over a period of about six months, my friend and I, we met about everybody that went to a coffee house in Denver. Julius had a habit of uh, always finding places to hide. And when we would go down the street with Julius, he would, uh, if a dog in the neighborhood came out to uh, greet Julius, they would come to a screeching halt because Julius had a way of spooking dogs. But anyway, Julius was so inquisitive that uh, he would hide in the apartment. We would search for him. And sadly, that became the demise of Julius because my friend worked for Glen L. Martin in Denver at the time. And he had a duffel bag, or not a duffel bag, but a kind of uh, sea bag, if you're, uh, the Navy people call them sea bags, that he uh, carried in the back of his car that he took to work with him. Well, Julius hid in that bag. And when my friend got out to work, he discovered Julius, and Julius had died of a heat stroke. And Julius is buried somewhere on the old Glen L. Martin property in Denver. He was a great friend, one of the best pets that I have ever had in my life, and Julius was a raccoon. Well, thank you very much for listening to that story. We'll see you. Bye-bye. Have a good day.